How's it going, my friend? Eric Ellis Jr. here with ericellisjr.com. And have you been struggling with email marketing? Or are you trying to figure out how to get started? Have you been running email marketing campaigns, but your emails haven't been converting? You haven't been getting sales? This video is going to show you step-by-step -step how you can write a converting email, and more importantly, the steps necessary to actually convert your emails into dollar dollar bills. Stay tuned. Guys, um, the fortune is in the follow. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I was creating uh, my email marketing campaign and I decided why not uh, share this so I can go ahead and give value to people because people might be struggling within their email marketing. Now, let me ask you a question. Um, have you heard of email marketing? Have you started email marketing? Comment a one or two below. Comment a one below if you've heard of email marketing. Comment a two below if you've actually started implementing it into your business. Um, now the thing is, and also I want to want you to comment where you're from because I want to see where people are viewing from. But uh, more importantly, share this to your feed. Um, people who are in affiliate marketing can definitely bit, uh, benefit from this, right? Now, um, basically what I use is I use AWeber. AWeber is the software I use to actually create my emails to do my email marketing campaigns, right? But I want to share with you guys a strategy um, that not a lot of people are taking advantage of when it comes to their email marketing business. I'll try to make this as quick as possible right but basically this is uh, an email marketing tutorial um, to help you crush it within your affiliate marketing business um, and how to increase your conversion so that way you can crush it as an affiliate marketer now a lot of people who start doing email marketing uh, the way that they're taught is you get them through your sales funnel once you get them through your sales funnel you capture that lead then you follow up with them and then you reintroduce them back into your sales page right was correct um, however, when you're introducing them to your sales page, if all you're doing is pitching your email list, you literally have no chance um, in succeeding as an affiliate marketer long term. Uh, the engagement on your list is going to go downhill. Now, if you have thousands of dollars that you're spending per week and you constantly have new people coming on your list, cool, a lot of people do that. But at the end of the day, if you want to start a long term sustainable business, with your affiliate marketing business or internet marketing business, um, you wanna make sure that you are simply um, providing value to your list. Now, what I mean by that, people are gonna be more engaging with your actual, guys, all this email marketing is, or an email list, it's a distribution channel, it's a following, it's another form of a following. Imagine if you had a large Instagram following and all you did was pitch people on an on an op a business opportunity or some sort of opportunity, they're eventually gonna go ahead and your engagement is gonna go uh, out the window, right? Um, it's the same thing with an email list. It's a following. You have to keep them engaged. You have to keep them um, to where they like you. And more importantly, you wanna build um, a list of people who know, like, and trust you because people don't buy stuff from people they don't know, like, and trust. So an example, I'm simply going to show you guys real time me actually um, setting up my, one of my uh, um, email follow-up series. Now, basically, you can do this for broadcast or you can do this with e uh, just regular follow-up series, right? Now, what I do is I simply search the web for valuable content that is congruent with the following that I'm building and will provide value to my list, right? Now, people think it's a waste of time um creating email copy right writing emails and providing value because they're like damn if i create something like this i'm not going to generate any income guys one thing gary v preaches is that majority of the the moves that he makes is for 10 years ahead of time it's the same thing with email marketing right make moves not for today but for tomorrow if you want a long-term sustainable business you have to provide value it's called the 80 20 rule 80 percent value 20 percent pitch so um, guys, you can do this anywhere, but um, one thing that I'm using is basically, where are we? Um, so ClickFunnels, 
if you guys don't know what ClickFunnels is, if you do know what it is, great. Um, they have a blog where they have podcasts. And basically what they do is they have valuable content within my niche. Like they have a ridiculous amount of valuable content. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply just scrolling down, seeing what, what people see value in, right? Now, if you look at this, uh, not look at this, but if we look, I was looking at a couple of articles. Um, this, this article has 287 shares. Now, I'm not even going to read this article, but if you read what it says, it simply says how to scale your ads like purple. Now, any of you watching this video who have started affiliate marketing, internet marketing, e-commerce, whatever it may be, right, and you failed in paid advertisement, if you received an email, right, I'm going to show you the headline. Because all I'm doing is I did not listen to this podcast. This is simply me finding valuable content. And I'm just going to go ahead and literally distribute this to my following. So my email is basically. I basically keep failing. Or actually it says keep failing with paid ads. But I'm going to say tired of failing with paid ads. So a capturing headline. So basically if you receive the email. One thing when it comes to your email marketing is that you're competing. If I was to go to my email, I, I literally get about 50 emails a day. So with that being said, I do go through all my emails. My process of my emails is I literally delete about 90% of them. And then about 10% of them, I'll go ahead and save. And then I'll filter based off of the headlines, whether I want to go through them or not. So based off of your headline, it will be extremely crucial. Now, Again, share this feed because somebody could benefit from this. Share this. People who want to learn about email marketing. Even if you're not doing affiliate marketing and you just want to learn how to follow up with leads or you want to learn how to generate leads, right? This is going to be crucial for you guys. But so this is going to be cap eye capturing, tired of failing with paid ads. Guys, when it comes to marketing negativity sales, why do you think the media is always talking about negative negativity, 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 negativity? Because people subconsciously rather listen to something negative than something positive, unfortunately, right? If I was to say, learn how to crush it with paid advertisement in comparison to tired of failing with paid ads, it's not going to convert as high as, as high as this negative headline for, for the email. Now guys, just to kind of recap, people who are brand new to email marketing. Basically, email marketing is simply following up with the leads that you generate from the sales funnel, driving traffic, whether it's paid or free traffic. Once you generate those leads, you're going to follow up with them, not only with different offers, right, within your niche, so that way you can monetize that email list. But what I'm going over right now is how to 10 times, how to freaking crush it, how to increase your conversions in your sales. Now, believe it or not, people are probably thinking, oh, do I increase my sales with certain sort of email copy? I'm actually going to break down this email copy but no, the main way to increase your sales is by building trust with your list, building a relationship by sending them valuable content. So let's read this, e uh, this email copy. Yes, I did write this myself. No, I'm not a copywriter. However, I've been studying marketing, sales and marketing for a long period of time. So I do know uh, what does sell and what does not sell. Um, so let's break it down. So, hey, friend, Eric here. Uh, I've, I've been there, dot, dot, dot. So that's basically like a cliff, cliffhanger. It gets people to keep on reading because subconsciously they're like, you've been aware, Eric. Now, obviously it's congruent with this, tired of failing with paid ads, right? You tired? Now, guys, I speak very improper in my emails because I'm a, I'm a regular person and I don't, I don't try to seem very salesy and like a robot, right? Sometimes it's improper grammar and sometimes I do curse, right? You tired of spending money and not getting a return on your investment? Question mark. And also, I'm basically um, built, starting the pain, right? Hitting people with pain, tapping into people's emotions. People who have felt this before or have tried ads before, they're going to go ahead and continue to read this. And then I transition with relating with my reader, right? Relating with my audience. I remember when I first started internet marketing, I spent, and this is real time, guys, so I haven't even edited it. I spent thousands of dollars without a single cent in return. So thousands of dollars on paid ads
because I'm streaming, it's going a little bit slow. Without a single cent in return. After failing so much and losing so much, right? Again, I'm relating with them. I'm, 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 I'm hitting them with that pain. I thought to myself, now guys, whether I was, just to kind of give you guys um, the, the philosophy behind this, the reason why you want to write a fantastic email copy for if you're pitching a product or even if you're pitching something for free is because the better your email copy, the higher the conversions. The higher the conversions, that means the higher the higher your open rate with the headline or subject line rather, the higher your um, click through rate, the better your email copy, the more people um, open your content, whether it's free or if you're pitching or promoting something and the better your, the more people that open it, the more people you're gonna establish a relationship with, the more you're going to build that core following and the more you're gonna be able to monetize. So again, everything is long term. Now, um, I said, after failing so much and losing so much, I thought to myself, what would a successful person do? And guys, telling a story, engaging, compelling, right? The answer, dot, dot, dot. Another cliffhanger, get them to keep on reading. Seek guidance from those who are freaking crushing it. Bryant here, dot, 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 is a savage and paid per click advertising. He spends in a day more than the average marketer will spend in their career on paid advertisement. In this free podcast, and then I'm gonna break down what why I'm boating some of this text. In this free podcast, he unveils his secrets on his marketing strategies and how you can steal them for yourself. Absolutely free. Now, guys, one of the most powerful words in marketing is the word free. It will increase your conversions by 10 to 20 to 30 percent. Um, meaning when people read this, engaging, compelling, but also you're using trigger words like free, which naturally is clickbaity. People want to people like free shit. So take advantage of this by clicking here. Clicking here. So I have multiple calls to actions within this short email. There is a lot of psychology behind this email. And guys, remember the long-term game is for me to simply build a relationship with my audience. When I build a relationship and I provide value, then when I refer something, one of my affiliate marketing offers, they're going to be more inclined to buy because they know me, they like me, they trust me, right? So before they find out how, I said, take advantage of this by clicking here before they find find out how valuable this training truly is and take it down. So guys, what this is, is called scarcity. Scarcity is fear of loss. I'm getting people to take advantage of what I'm offering because I'm using the fear of loss, fear tactics. People don't wanna miss out, FOMO, fear of missing out. Me saying that they'll, they'll take it down because it's very valuable is, is gonna increase the conversions, right? More details here, your friend, Eric Ellis Jr. So what I'm simply gonna do, right? You find any platforms, any type of podcast, whether you're in health and wellness, whether you're in internet marketing, whether you're, it doesn't matter what the hell you're offering, find, it's called content marketing, guys. Find valuable content, simply use Google, find valuable content that will be congruent with your actual list and the following that you're building for your affiliate marketing or just internet marketing business. And then what you do, is you simply find that valuable content and you literally just distribute it to your list. But I wanted to actually show you guys, so we're gonna simply copy this, right? I wanted to show you guys how you guys, cause it's not just about providing value, you want people to actually, con it to convert as well. So that's where the email copy comes into place and this is how you write fantastic email copy. You can write the same type of copy to actually sell something. It's gonna increase conversions. People buy stories, right? People wanna be entertained. So what I'm gonna do is simply with that blog, I'm gonna go ahead, or podcast rather. So where I have it black, I'm simply just gonna go ahead and post the URL for the blog, for the podcast rather. Oh, I missed it, oh well. Do, 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 do.
sorry for this part because this is acting extremely slow. Clicking here. We're almost done. And then I want to go ahead and wrap this up by giving you guys a call to action. And again, share this feed. Somebody can extremely benefit from learning about email marketing and guys the secret is one word value 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 even if you're pitching somebody you want to have a compelling email that provides value with an actual ad copy or not ad copy but email copy so basically just to wrap it up guys what i did is simply created email copy um found well first i found the content and found what i wanted to go ahead and distribute to my list once I found out what I wanted to distribute to my list, I wrote up email copy. I did not even listen to this podcast, but I know that it's valuable because that's 287 shares. Obviously, if other people are sharing it, it's valuable content, right? Just to kind of give you guys hindsight on something that's valuable and something that's not. The more the shares, the more people are engaging with it, the better the content is. Then what I did is I wrote up email copy. I simply used a capturing headline to get people to increase the open rates. I use cliffhangers. I related with my reader. I basically use pain. It's called the PAS formula, past pain agitation solution. Um, the solution is what I'm offering, which is this podcast. And I'm using scarcity, fear of loss to get people to take advantage. And I have multiple call to actions within my list. Now I use the same formula and the same way to actually um, pitch products or refer products rather with uh, my email marketing now why is this crucial guys when you provide value to your list i will simply save this because i'm actually going to use this you provide value to your list you start to build a relationship with them that's how you build a core following literally you have to swallow the fact that 90 percent of the people on your list will never buy a single product from you but it's that 10% that you build a relationship that are constantly going to be opening up your emails. They're going to be looking for your content and they're going to be looking for what you're referring. That's where 90% of your income will be. The 90% of your income is in the 10%. So email marketing tutorial, guys, you find valuable content, you distribute it, write compelling email copy, and you freaking send it to your list. And you do this um every other email some emails you should pitch a product some emails you should just give them complete freaking value now um if you look somewhere at the top the bottom right left if you guys don't have um a sales funnel software or even if you don't know how to create sales funnels to actually capture leads so that way you can start building a list um is i'm going to go ahead and give you guys access it's called the simple affiliate funnel which is basically right is going to go ahead and allow you guys to capture leads now let me see if i can actually pull this up for you guys boop, boop, boop. wow it's going extremely slow because i'm streaming but basically what I'm trying to say is go ahead and click that link to get access to the simple affiliate funnel, which will allow you to basically, um, basically start building a list. So you can go to simpleaffiliatefunnel.com and practicing what I'm preaching is going to go ahead and uh, drive you to a sales funnel that I created and um, basically the same type of sales funnel that I use for affiliate marketing. Um, you're going to be able to use the same type of uh, sales funnel that I created for free. Yeah, it's acting extremely slow, but go ahead and uh, take immediate action. Please share this video um, with anybody. If you have a, a Facebook group, share it with your people. Share it with anybody who could like get value from this. Now this is what the, you're going to get access to a page like this, right? Put in your email and you'll literally have instant uh, download to this three-step sales funnels process. Basically, to where you can capture emails, right? So that way you can actually do email marketing. 
and then you can have a back end offer to start growing your business, your list and your and, and your and your wealth, right? Your income. So up above this video, down below, somewhere on here, there's a link that you can go to get access to Simple Affiliate Funnel, right? And once you start building that list with Simple Affiliate Funnel, and by the way, it's a it's a sales funnel template, you're gonna be able to uh, plug and play um, whatever your business opportunity is, whatever your niche is. Um, and then you start building a list, then you wanna start doing these type of emails, whether you wanna broadcast them or even set it up for your, your following series to build that core audience uh, by providing valuable content and increasing your conversions and your sales in your email marketing business. First and foremost, I wanna say thank you guys, anybody who actually watched this um, all the way through. And more importantly, I wanna go ahead and thank you for tuning in and hopefully uh, you've gained value from this. Um, anybody, if one person is impacted from this content, um, I'll be happy. If, if I can help one person generate one more sale or build their list or whatever that looks like, that's why I'm doing this for. Now with that being said, Grab access to this uh, simple affiliate funnel, start building a list, and start freaking crushing it in your affiliate marketing business.